Hi, now let's learn how to control live from your iPad using TouchOSC. This procedure is a little bit more convoluted than other ones, but it's very effective. The first thing is to make sure that you download the live control panel. You can download it from this website. Then make sure that both your iPad and your Mac are set on the same wireless network. Then I'm going to simply launch my live control panel. And I'm going to make sure that the MIDI port is set to from live control one. If you see many options here, you should go to file select MIDI setup and uh, simply make sure that only live control 1 and live control 1 from for input and output are set at this point I'm gonna launch my touch OSC app on my iPad go to connections enable the OSC connection and select the host called live control automatically on the control panel of live control you will see that the iPad shows up as a connected device now in my um, TouchOSC app, I'm going to choose the right um, setup that I want to use. So under layout, I'm going to choose my live layout. You can download the live layout at this link. Now I'm going to go to Live, I'm going to go to Preferences, I'm going to click on MIDI Sync Options and under Control Surfaces I'm going to choose my Live Control 2. Make sure that the input and output are set to None. Now I'm going to switch to the control uh, window on my TouchOSC app by clicking done. And now I'm going to be able to control live from my iPad. I can con use uh, the transport control. I can control my faders. And of course I can control also and trigger my clips.